Hello everyone! In this video, we'll be reviewing the updated node templates from Therapy Notes. Our updated node templates continue to follow the golden thread as they always have, automatically moving information from one node template to another to seamlessly create a holistic narrative of the client's experience in therapy. These changes come from months of research, reviewing audit templates from a wide variety of insurance companies, suggestions from our customers, and best practice guidelines from professional organizations, all designed to make documentation even easier. Let's jump right in. First, we'll start with our psychotherapy intake notes. We've added new functionality to our intake notes to help you better capture your sessions with less effort. Intake notes will tie directly to our simultaneously released client history form, allowing you to have your client complete the form through their portal account, and then pull their responses directly into the presenting problem and new biopsychosocial assessment fields of your intake note. The first change you'll see in the intake note is under current mental status. Functional status has been added as a new option for current mental status, and judgment has been renamed judgment slash impulse control. The order of items in this section has been updated for a more natural flow and new selectable options have been added to some items. As always, we've kept the simple one-click option to mark all items as either within normal limits or not assessed. Next is the risk assessment section. We've replaced the safety issues checkboxes with a brand new section to comprehensively assess and document risk. This section is designed to quickly capture information that follows best practices in documenting risks from both a clinical and malpractice insurance perspective. Instead of a blanket none option, a new checkbox will quickly indicate that the client denied all areas of risk. This allows for a more accurate representation of what happens in session. In addition, the checkbox captures your clinical assessment of the client denial. This shows that you did more than simply take the client at their word. You applied your clinical knowledge and skill to assess the client and concluded that the denial is accurate. The area of risk field will allow you to either select from a list of common areas of risk or type in a specific response. You are also able to enter any additional or more specific areas of risk for your client. You should enter only one area of risk per line as each area can now be assessed independently. This field will be required on notes if the checkbox indicating the client denied all areas of risk is not selected. Taking a look at level of risk, just because an area of risk is present for your client does not mean it poses an immediate or grave threat. You can now indicate variance in risk over time, showing effective documentation of improvement or periods of crisis. Since each area of risk is assessed independently, you can quickly show where differences exist. Documenting intent, plan, and means to act helps justify your determination of the level of risk and shows that you completed a thorough assessment. We have included the ability to mark each item as not applicable, as they may not apply to some types of risk. For all areas of risk, you will be required to select one response for each of these three items. The risk factors and protective factors fields allow you to select multiple items from a list of common factors shown to increase or decrease the level of risk. Choose as many as apply to each area of risk or add your own items specific to your client. The add area of risk option lets you add another group of fields to assess an additional area of risk. When documenting multiple areas of risk, you will be able to reorder the groups or delete an entire group at once. A good intake session is about more than just a client history. You'll review the policies and procedures, obtain informed consent, and discuss other important information. You'll also take time to develop rapport and provide hope that your work can help the client meet their goals. With the objective content section, you can now make sure to document each of these important parts of the intake session. Next, you can move on to the biopsychosocial assessment. We have renamed the background information section to biopsychosocial assessment to describe your clinical role in the process more accurately, not as just a history taker, but as a holistic, active assessor of your client. 
We updated some of the field labels and prompts to provide more thorough review of your client and to comply with third-party requirements, including changing the strengths slash limitation field to snap, representing strengths, needs, abilities, and preferences. Not only is this in line with CARF documentation requirements, but it helps to take a holistic view of the personal characteristics that can help your client succeed in treatment. We also added a new field to assess spiritual and cultural factors, recognizing the significant impact these domains may have on your client's functioning. Every field in the biopsychosocial assessment continues to be optional. Each field from history of present problem through other important information may be populated with your client's responses to the brand new client history form. By pressing the history button to the right of each field, you can see the response your client submitted to the corresponding question on the client history form and pull the response into the field. Alternatively, pressing the history button at the top of the biopsychosocial assessment section will allow you to pull forward the client's response to all questions at once. Lastly, we have plan. We realize that not every assessment can be covered in a single session, yet many third-party payers or regulatory bodies require a treatment plan to be completed immediately after the first session. The new plan field allows you to document a simple plan for moving forward such as continuing your assessment, requesting records from other providers, or coordinating care with a primary care doctor without utilizing the full treatment plan template. This field is optional. Now let's take a look at our psychotherapy progress notes, which have some important and exciting changes as well based on industry research and customer feedback. First, you may notice that the patient presentation section has been replaced with the improved current mental status. This is the same section that appears on psychotherapy intake notes. All of these fields are optional. We kept the one-click options to mark the whole section as not assessed and within normal limits, and the history button will now be able to show both psychotherapy intake and psychotherapy progress notes in one view. Secondly, just like our psychotherapy intake note, we've replaced the safety issues section on the psychotherapy progress note with our new risk assessment. It will be easier than ever to do a thorough, effective assessment of risks at every session and document that assessment appropriately. Finally, Therapy Notes note templates have always been based on the SOAP format. You'll see that we've updated the section headers to make it easier to understand what goes in each field. Symptom Description and Subjective Report is still where your client's report of symptoms and relevant experiences, information from collateral contacts, and other subjective data can be documented. Relevant content has been renamed Objective Content to follow the SOAP acronym, but it's still the place to document content of discussions and your observations of what happened during the session. Additional notes regarding goals and objectives have been renamed to Additional Notes slash Assessment to better guide content in this field. You may want to document your assessment of the client's progress, reactions to interventions, therapeutic processes, or medical necessity for treatment here. You also may have specific documentation requirements from third parties, such as insurance companies or licensing boards, that don't fit neatly into other sections of the note. We've also updated our psychiatry note templates. Psychiatry intake notes include many of the same new features as psychotherapy intake notes, including updates to the current mental status, risk assessment, and biopsychosocial assessment sections, and the inclusion of objective content and plan fields. Additional improvements include new fields to capture vital signs, physical exam, and review of systems, making it easier than ever to document for effective EM coding. The vital signs fields allow you to select units, which will automatically be pulled forward onto future notes for the client. Our client history form also populates fields within the biopsychosocial assessment and presenting problems sections of the psychiatry intake note. Psychiatry progress notes also feature many of these improvements, including updates to the current mental status, risk assessment and biopsychosocial assessment sections, and the inclusion of the new vital signs, physical exam, review of systems, and plan fields. 
Just like our psychotherapy note templates, information can flow smoothly from intake to sessions, making documentation swift and easy. History functionality is available, making it possible to review previous sessions and prepare for your next. That covers all the note template updates from Therapy Notes. If you have any questions and would like one-on-one -on -one support, we're available by phone and email at no additional charge. If you don't have a Therapy Notes account, visit therapynotes.com to try free for 30 days. Thanks for watching.